Um, meeting people from different backgrounds and um, sharing different perspectives on human-computer confluence. And um, all of the lectures have been very insightful, um, coming from also very different perspectives. I really enjoyed the talk about metaphor and um, how that influences design. Uh, we can all together gather and uh, discover new ideas, mostly um, the idea of positive technology and all this uh, future interfaces, which, is, which was the most interesting for me, and moreover the um, uh, digital uh, re recognition of uh, new senses. I like the idea of uh, Professor Andrea uh, because he is, he is working on stress analysis of uh, patients and it really fascinates me to understand the how can I integrate the scientific technology with the medical and biomedical instruments. I'm currently working in human-computer interaction so I guess I was interested in the differences between human-computer interaction and human-computer confluence um, because Human computer interaction, uh, the sort of people that I work with and the conferences I go to are generally quite quite technical and computer science based, so it was nice to be here around a lot more psychologists and hear a lot more of the theory background in human computer confluence. This summer school, I came here because of BCI basically. Uh, I wanted to look after what are the different methods which can deal with uh, numerous amount of data and as well as what are the different implicit reactions of users, how to handle them, how to overcome with that. And I, here I came to know that various methods, methodologies, various uh, aspects about that and it helped me a lot. A lecture given by David it was quite impressive and uh, I came to learn about what are the different uh, consciousness and how the user can be introduced in the virtual environment, how he interact. I like the first speaker, Alois. I think he's from Austria. He was very practical in, in all his slides, all practical experiences. Theoretical work was a bit lesser, and then I, li I liked the last lecture, which was today, which was on BCI. Well, I actually enjoyed uh, many of the keynote speeches the, that we had, but uh, I think my favorite was uh, yesterday's talk about uh, playful interaction in, um, in HCC, because I think that is one theme that is often missing in the discussions, because this, this whole theme of play means that uh, to, um, to enter uh, like an environment, a virtual environment, you have to be willing to suspend your disbelief. And I think that is something that is often left out because uh, it is often said that environments are just so convincing that you're just fooled by it. And I think just that this is not true. I think there has to be some some kind of willingness to, to do that. Uh, Andrea has, has presented uh, uh, an idea which is like uh, uh, which is very impressive, which is not only uh, very impressive, but also, uh, also has uh, very good and high practical implementations. Uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, turning of re uh, dreams into reality and uh, 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 to and forth. Uh, I believe this is something uh, which I have never heard before, and I think this is very innovative, very applicable, and I, uh, I have my utmost interest 
uh, in his presentation. This was sort of a, a relatively new uh, field. Uh, I knew little uh, about HCC. Um, I like very much the Andrea Gagoli's uh, talk this morning about uh, positive psychology because uh, he, he did uh, give a lot of examples of uh, possible technologies and projects that do uh, work with uh, combining all these methods and I, I thought it was a, a great uh, sort of overview of what, what this field means. John uh, Wood Waterworth, I'm not sure if that's the correct name. Um, I, I liked um, the kind of projects he described. Uh, I'm very interested in assistive technology. I just remember the last name, Lieb, um, where he uh, gave us an overview of all the BCI uh, technologies and, and techniques and projects. Uh, I had some information, but I, I found it very informative. Different um, uh, fields like neuroscience and computer science uh, are emerging somehow, and that there's a real exchange between the disciplines. That was one aspect of summer school I really liked. I liked. Uh, I really liked the presentations about uh, head-mounted displays and augmented reality, and uh, all the possible applications that uh, can arise from uh, those uses. There was there, there were some topics that were really uh, that I was reading on. Um, for example, you know, John Waterworth is, you know, I, I'm, I'm using his works a lot in my in my PhD. Uh, uh, but then again, it, there were some fields that I didn't know anything about, like like neuroscience, for example. So that was like a, somebody talking about magical stuff and fairies and unicorns for me. So it was a really nice experience. Uh, for me, it was uh, the first one the, uh, that they really open a different vision about the ways in which you can create different interventions, especially for my father, that is clinical psychology, and also to see uh, where are we going towards in, in the future. Uh, one of the most important killer applications in uh, human-computer confluence field is uh, our uh, mind. Uh, augmented by the use of technology and so uh, I think that uh, their vision uh, can help me to define uh, my PhD project. It was very good. I really enjoyed uh, there was a very good rapport between the uh, speakers as well as the students because of the, uh, I mean, the, the interaction was very good. The major reason for this could be that the students were asked to present some work in the afternoon on the last day, so that made all the difference. It's nice to do like a project in the framework of the summer school where you present your own and develop your own uh, idea and have to present it. And I liked uh, working together with the group, so uh, we had different disciplines in the group, psychologists, uh, computer scientists, and so it was interesting exchange. All, uh, all of them, are, most of them are PhD students. All of them have their own world, their own mind, their, their own thinking, their own experience. And we had the opportunity to share uh, a lot of thinkings, uh, uh, and I was able to learn a lot from them. What can be human computer flow as well? Uh, kind of, yeah, we were saying kind of complete disappearance of mediation of technology and more fluid, more natural interaction between human and computer. Yeah, uh, for me, human computer confluence uh, describes the unobtrusive uh, presence of uh, technology to human lives uh, and more of a symbiotic instead of a parasitic relation as yeah, symbiotic uh, we, we it heard. was good yeah symbiotic is a good. good term like the interaction uh, with some of the students from different countries, it was actually a, a good experience and I think uh, we also exchanged all contact data and all that and I think we will stay in touch so um, I guess that is really one of the main advantages of a summer school like this that uh, everyone comes together in one spot. Yeah, the first day it was uh, a yeah, big um, 
big uh, impression because uh, honestly what we re well what I realized that the, the project we were working on a few days before during the on the forum and, and by Skype we realized we are more into the HCI human computer interaction and not so much into the HCC so therefore we, we started to well to change a little bit the project and adapt it more to, to what is HCC. Oh, it, I, well, I really enjoyed the experience. Uh, at the beginning, it was uh, kind of difficult because uh, we were with different backgrounds, so sometimes it, it's different to share a vision, especially in a field when you not everybody has the same skills. But at the end, I think that also did uh, give us uh, really the possibility to make an interdisciplinary work, uh, the possibility to integrate to our own visions, different visions, and also to integrate different point of view. So I really enjoy. Uh, working and also I really enjoy the dynamic with my team and uh, I think it was a great experience. A great chance to open my mind, to open my vision and so it was uh, fun also. Another, another interesting thing that we learned from here to uh, collect our knowledge and integrate the different idea, aspects. different yeah. aspects of the yeah. human computer confluence and then we define a project and then yeah. based on the yeah, uh, it's about the um, uh, avatar who um, discovers our inner dialogues and communicate with us uh, according to them, uh, and it's a social support tool. So he provides uh, a proper dialogue to ourselves to increase our well-being or uh, self-esteem, uh, may increase the self-esteem. This is the idea that uh, everybody can have a personal avatar, 3D avatar. So uh, in any situation, this 3D avatar can support, emotionally support this uh, person. Uh, my group is really great, actually, really nice. We've uh, all become friends. It's really good. Uh, we, um, we didn't do any work before we got here. <laughs> but we managed to uh, we managed to come up with a good idea, I think, and uh, everyone got pretty engaged, and we worked together well. It was uh, interesting of in how little time people came up with a really creative ideas uh, and it, I think each group managed to grab a different area and different um, concept and they're all very uh, varied and sort of people really put uh, a lot of um, effort and, and you can see that they tried really to confluence all the all the areas and, and backgrounds um, I like very much the one with the heart rate the t-shirt I think the first one also uh, that could help me learn a musical instrument, actually. <laughs> that would be something helpful. I, I like to see the different uh, projects and how they ap applied it with um, technologies, methodologies, and I think HEC could uh, help clarify that blurry area that sometimes people still ask, what does a psychologist do when it technology team, developing technological uh, aspects, and I think HSC could help in that. We have a group here, there is a group task here in the summer school. We are trying to uh, make something like uh, public uh, displays, the, which will help all the people coming inside the buildings, inside the metro, or outside the buildings, you know, to help them, to navigate them, to try to interact them Usually, I mean, offline or online, in order to interact with, the, uh, to perform the uh, human-computer interaction. It was really wonderful. Um, we actually had quite a large group with six people sharing all different opinions, and um, at some points we didn't agree completely on on where to go. But I think that that made for a more interesting dialogue, and um, it's been a great experience. We'll definitely keep in touch after. <laughs> To design the computing aid in such a way that human and computers, uh, that it is difficult to identify that which one is human and which one is computer. So it's a, uh, it's a matter of losing yourself in a way that the discrimination becomes unobvious.
human computer confluence is actually emergence and integration and combination of two equally likely entities. And the recent and current research is moving so fast in order to recognize more human behavior patterns, in order to detect uh, high level understanding of uh, human behaviors, human brain. I have a broader view about all these influences. It's not uh, mostly about this uh, point of jun junction between a uh, human computer. It's about the impact, about the relations, about the structures that, that are made in our brains and how to control it without investigation and stuff. So I think it's like a broader, it's like um, it's everywhere, like our bodies interface and other science fiction stuff that I learned. So I think the computer, human computer influence can, can be like a bridge between cognitive science and technological part of that uh, can be like a bridge uh, for this both and can communicate with each other, to each other. Emerging between technology and uh, human consciousness. Rather than thinking it is a helping gadget, he can think, okay, it is a part of my life. So here, various discussions were going on, and I came to learn that, yeah, we can use the machine in such a way so that it can be a part of our life, means it can be integrated as a body, not like a support. The merging of humans with computer technology. Um, at the moment, it's uh, not very well defined, um, and it is quite broad, but by having conferences like this, we can talk about ethical issues and implications of these things and how to um, direct research in more positive uh, directions. My own perspective is actually a little bit more distanced how should I say, because it's more like uh, I'm trying to understand what is happening there and I'm not only trying to, you know, like pursue a project but on, uh, also to understand what drawbacks are there and maybe um, how can you critique um, a project like this. Um, but I think this, the, the whole summer school has actually raised my awareness for the issues that still have to be resolved and also the potential that is in there. I'm not a designer, and I'm not an engineer, so uh, my own perspective is actually a little bit more distanced, how should I say, because it's more like uh, I'm trying to understand what is happening there and I'm not only trying to, you know, like pursue a project but on, uh, also to understand what drawbacks are there and maybe um, how can you critique um, a project like this. Um, but I think this, the, the whole summer school has actually raised my awareness for the issues that still have to be resolved and also the potential that is in there. It's, um, it seems to be more theory-based than human-computer interaction. I mean, I know that they're trying to uh, make it more appliable in the real world, but it seems, I guess because it's more new. The capability to expand uh, our, not, not only uh, to expand the way that we interact uh, with computers, but also the way which we perceive the way we feel our senses, uh, our tools. It's a, it's a way to, by joining uh, these two different things, to have actually the real possibility to achieve things that previously you couldn't think that were achievable kind of complete disappearance of mediation of technology and more fluid, more natural interaction between human and computer? Yeah, uh, for me, human-computer confluence uh, describes the unobtrusive uh, presence of uh, technology to human lives uh, and more of a symbiotic instead of a parasitic relation. As, yeah, uh, symbiotic it was good, yeah. Symbiotic is a good term. <laughs> This is all a huge, huge, huge blend. So humans, technology, and the spaces that we we are, you know, uh, they are all a huge blend. We cannot separate one from the other. You cannot separate the space. You cannot separate the technology. You cannot separate the the the, the, the people uh, from from each other. So that's why it's a whole confluent thing. So we are kind of merged into, you know, one big pot. <laughs> My name is
is Basit Chehzad. Uh, I belong to Petronas University, uh, Malaysia. I'm doing my uh, PhD from there. Uh, my name is Agata Pashikovska. I'm from uh, Warsaw University of Social Science and Humanities. I'm a psychologist. My name is Abul Fass from uh, University of Pisa Engineering Department. I'm currently working on the uh, social robot that we are trying to develop the social capability of the robot. Uh, I'm doing my PhD project about inner dialogues as uh, a social support. My name is Hashim Ali and uh, I am a PhD student in the University of Milan, Bicocca. And my research uh, interest in, uh, is uh, in order to recognize human behavior patterns, uh, by, uh, more specifically for fall event detection. Uh, Stefan Strolber and I'm working at the Max Planck Institute for Biological Cybernetics in Tübingen, um, where I'm doing a PhD in Neural and Behavioral Sciences. Hi, my name is Prashant Aparaji. I'm doing my PhD from Goldsmith. My department is computing, and basically I'm working in the domain of image processing, machine learning, information retrieval, and DCI. Hi, my, my name is Maya. I'm from Technical University of Valencia. My name is George Alice Pulieris. I am from uh, Technical University of Greece. I'm psychologist and HCI, well, I, I, I would not say expert, <laughs> okay. I'm say HCI researcher. I'm a computer scientist and uh, also a computer graphics researcher. Claire Mitchell, I'm with New York University in the Interactive Telecommunications Program. I'm Vaibhav Gandhi. I'm working as a PhD research student at the Intelligent Systems Research Center, University of Ulster, Maggie Campus, UK. And I'm working in the field of brain-computer interface. The basic plan is to control mobile robots or wheelchairs simply by the motor imagination or the mental imagination from the person. So the, it's basically for disabled users. I'm also working on EMG signals for shadow hand, controlling the fingers of the shadow hand robots. Uh, my name is Timo Kerlein and I'm from uh, University of Paderborn in Germany. Um, I'm from a research training group there with the name Automatisms and uh, my subject is Media Studies. Uh, my name is Michelle Scott and I'm a PhD student at uh, the Madeira Interactive Technologies Institute in Madeira in Portugal. Mari Berreto, I come from Madeira, Portugal. Um, I work as a user research, research assistant, PhD uh, student in the Madeira Interactive Technologies Institute. Hi, I'm Silvia Serino and I'm a PhD student in Università Cattolica del Sacro Cuore in Milan. Hi, I'm Jimena and I'm a PhD student at uh, UNAM, uh, Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México. My name is Sarkanayan and I'm from um, Edinburgh Napier University uh, from Center of Interaction Design and uh, my background is quite diverse. Um, I'm, I'm coming from a business background and then my bachelor's degree is in sociology, then I did IT and right now I'm doing interaction design. If, if it's next time, I, I would ask my colleagues to join in. Very good. Yeah, Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't find any girlfriend. I hope so one day. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for, uh, for the talk. <laughs> thanks a lot. And I'm really glad I came. I had a really good time. It was uh, very interesting. Some of the talks were uh, quite inspiring. Uh, thank you for you to organizing uh, such a very interesting summer school. No interface included here. <laughs> <laughs>